So this is a generally a this is in almost everything we do, uh, whether it's veg stock or we'll do burnt onion stock. Um, we'll take between, I don't know, a 50 pound sack to a 100 pound sack of yellow onions every two or three days, cut them in half lengthwise, put them on the grill, and we're gonna do, a, we're gonna essentially burn them until the cut edge is totally black. Um, um, so as these burn, we're gonna take, where are we at here? Oh, we have some burnt onion stock to start. And this was 12 onions, I think is what the recipe says, with about two hours of cook time. So we take our burnt onion stock, and it's kind of a play on a French onion soup, um, just vegetarian and not, it takes the same amount of time but I think if you're gonna make French onion soup, omit the beef bones and put more onion in there. I think that's what everybody's always looking for with French onion soup, is more onion flavor. Everybody likes the onion flavor. So we take our burnt onion stock, we'll infuse it with some garlic. We have our raw onion that we're gonna to add to at the end, sort of our melted onions. If you guys see this right now, you know, that's, we want that, but we want it black all the way. Um, so it's, it's a process. And if it always helps if you have a hot oven. It helps if you have a hot grill. It's time consuming. It's one of those things that it's gonna smoke out the whole house. Um, we'll add our garlic. And generally what I'll do is, if I have a nice flavorful stock that I made the day before, I'll take that same stock that I'm working with for the day of, for the final dish, add all the raw ingredients that we did the day before back into it, just so you could infuse it with a lot more fresh flavor. Um, so we'll add our garlic, we'll add our onions, to sort of reinforce all that onion flavor. And since we're burning more onions off, we'll add that to it also. So we're kind of lucky to have everything done for us today. So we could cheat a little bit. But what we'll do anyways is we'll put that burnt in there. And once it hits that liquid, all that burnt flecks are gonna sort of come off into the pot. So we take our broth. In the recipe, we take the burnt onion stock that's been cooked for two, three hours strained of all the onions. We bring it back down till it's very, very flavorful. Um, and that's kind of my guideline for cooking in general. And if you read the recipe, it's always, if it's really flavorful, then it's ready. So here we have our melted onions that have been cooked into our onion broth. We have some toasted bread. We have some butter herbs. And for this dish, I want to say I put in there um, croutons. But for me, the favorite part of bread, and I'm just going to tear this apart. Hopefully there's no bread Nazis out there, is the crust. I think the crust is the best part of the bread. That's what we want for a soup. We want to eat it with the crust. So we're going to peel off the crust. And we're gonna use that as our sort of vehicle for eating our soup, if we want the bread component. Um, so we got our broth. We'll take our onions out. We're gonna put this. And to finish the soup, so we take the very flavorful broth, we finish it with some butter, just to mellow it out. We're gonna finish it with a lot of chopped herb, tarragon, parsley, chervil. And herbs are always nice to use. I think they're very, people don't use them enough. You know, it, it, adds, it adds lightness in a time of heaviness. So in the deep winter, herbs are always a good thing to use to sort of lighten up a meal. So we'll take our bread And we 
have our vegetarian, we could call it vegetarian soup. We got our bread on the side. Okay. We'll take our cheese. That's one of those things we could either do the cheese on the soup, or we could do the cheese on the actual. Do I have a microphone? No. Okay. We'll do the cheese on the soup. Right into the bowl. And that is our burnt onion broth, melted onions, herbs, grilled bread. There we go.